Right. Hey, number 10, it only makes sense. Very Mil good. Milwaukee Brewers may be out of the playoffs, Pete, but in their final days of the season, we get the baseball catch of the week. Robin Yount doing his best Mark Tewksbury uh, imitation in center field. Nice snag. All right, we go to number nine and to football. And, you know, anytime you open a game, the coach will tell you, boys, it's great to get some good field position off that opening kickoff. Well, here's instant field position by Tyrone Wheatley of Michigan. In fact, no one lays a hand on Tyrone. He goes in for the six points, a 100-yard return. Number eight in the top ten, still in football. I guess we'll call this the pick of the week. The pick return of the week, that is. Luis Oliver picks off Jim Kelly, four yards go. deep. He could go all the way, and he does, and in a big, big hurry. It's the longest return in NFL history, 104 yards. <laughs> nice dance, too. Number seven still finds us in uh, the sport of football. This is the worst catch of the week. Utah State quarterback Bill Wilson falling down, but he gets the ball away. Spots open receiver, except it's a referee. Referee makes a good catch. No, he drops the ball, folks. Lousy catch by the official. Number six in the top ten countdown sees a switch to baseball. You wonder why the L.A. Dodgers had so many problems. We'll watch Dave Hansen. The broken bat follows him, hits him on the toe. Well, you see the end result. That's not turf toe, folks. That's bat toe. Tommy Lasorda wondering if he should have even woke up this season. We're now at the halfway point of the top ten countdown. Still in baseball. This is the worst catch of the week, folks. This is Jay Bell. He's a major league shortstop. Gets paid to play like that. Yeah. Got nothing but air on that one. The Mets, as you can see, think it's hilarious. Like, they're not something to laugh at. Getting closer to the play of the week, all the way down to number four, worst pass in football. Jim Harbaugh will change Mike Ditka's play. Calls the audible. It's good for a Viking TD, which turned the game around. Coach will be happy, right? Yeah, do yeah. you figure Mike's inviting him over for Thanksgiving dinner? I oh, we don't think don't so. don't think so, no. All right, we're down to number three now. In this one, we go to auto racing. Looks like our parking lot at rush hour. Uh, the most innovative driving technique of the week. Quite a crash at the Bush Grand National. Uh, all backwards is Joe Nemechek, and he decides, hey, I'll go across the finish line that way if it counts. Pete, do these guys lose their license after a <laughs> tilt like that? Yeah. Number two, back to football for the best hit of the week. Hang on, folks. Fred Jones of KC will uh, annihilate Tyrone Braxton of the Broncos. Even the coaches are saying, look, folks, enough of this. We don't want to see any more of this. They're begging for it to be on plays of the week. And here we go, folks. Number one, CKY's number one play of the week. And it comes from the sport of soccer, Kevin Holness with the great centering pass after taking the header from out of bounds and right across the front yes it's in the Winnipeg Fury are the best soccer team in Canada they're the new Canadian Soccer League champions 